What is going on, you guys? I am back with another video, and today we are going to be taking, or take, not taking a look. Well, yes, actually, near the end, but we're going to be talking about the upcoming uh, releases of the various Power of the Primes figures that are coming out soon. From the last wave of Power of the Primes. This line is a really short line, which is unfortunate, but, oh well. So, the first two waves, if you don't know, it, uh, the combiners in that, um, you have all of Volcanicus in the first two waves, part of Abominus in the second two waves. Like, you've got Volcanicus, Abominus, and then just a random Elita combiner and a random Inferno combiner. Uh, last week, via Takara, we have official images of the Voyager class Inferno in his combined form, Deluxe Nova Star, in the wave three or four Prime Masters. And, um, yeah, I think the newest wave is... Megatronus and Bomb Burst, Octo Punch, and what was the prime that was attached to him? I forget. I remember the, the primes. It's Megatronus, Solus, and um, Quintus. Those three were in wave three of the Prime Masters. Uh, and then Outback and Cindersaur were also recently revealed at that uh, convention a couple months ago, and you can order, uh, or no, Cinderbosaur and Outback were seen online on Amazon for listings, and then Takara released the images of Inferno, Nova Star, and the rest of their line. Uh, Power of the Primes will be the shortest line of the entire Prime Wars trilogy, which is kind of sad to say, but oh well. And just recently revealed today was the Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Rekgar. And Rekgar is looking really good. Yeah. I mean, seriously, Rekgar is looking really, really good. He comes with, uh, weapon-wise, the Reveal the Shield Rekgar's weapon, which is something I don't think we would have ever seen coming, is the fact that we're getting the weapon from the mold that we got. Where did that mold come out in? Uh, Rekgar came out in... Two thousand, right around eight eight-ish years ago, but he is based on the Combiner Wars Groove Mold, so the Deluxe Groove Mold, not the Legends Mold that he had in Combiner Wars, but he's now getting a Deluxe class version of himself. That's a Combiner, which is. Really, really cool. I'm happy they're doing that. Because, um... During Combiner Wars, Rekgar was part of the Skylinks Combiner team. Which was, uh, him, Wheeljack, Trailcutter... Or, no, he was Trailbreaker on the line, yeah. Smokescreen and Hound. Rekgar was nowhere to be seen from Takara. When, uh, Unite Warriors hit. But now that we're, we're getting a Deluxe Combiner Rekgar, you can attach that guy to your any of your various Combiner Wars Power of the Primes Combiners, which, honestly, is really cool. But, um, like I said, it is kind of sad to see Power of the Primes go, because... The line ends this year, and then War for Cybertron starts, like, this holiday season or something like that. It won't be long until people are finding Wave 3 stuff on the shelves. 
Me, I'm probably going to have to order some of my stuff still because my local retail sucks at restocking things. Yeah, I still have to order some Power of the Primes items and order what I can still from Combiner Wars. I am going to TFCon later this year. I'm hoping when I go there, I find some combiner stuff to pick up. Like the Unite Warriors Lynx Master combiner, because the deluxe ratchet that is in that set. Like, we didn't get ratchet in the States for combiner wars, but, um, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop babbling here, and now you guys are going to see the images of the various power front figures all over the world. From my end?